I got one of those the other day, an ice cream headache. You ever had one of them? You actually stop functioning for a full minute. Stuns your whole body, little piece of ice cream, you go like that. <laughs> you know the SAS used stun grenades to overcome them terrorists in that NBC siege? They should just thrown in some fucking ice cream. Go, 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 go. Oh, raspberry ripple. <laughs> you would never get to say that. <laughs> They should warn you about ice cream. Like that advert on the TV at the moment. When ice cream strikes, you must act first. Is one side of your face frozen? <laughs> Is your speech slurred? Too fucking right. <laughs> then you could be eating a McFlurry. So I never get these people that go to restaurants and they eat food that's so hot they're in agony when they eat it, but they put up with the pain because it tastes so good. You ever see these people? You'll see them sat in a restaurant in a hot sweat going, ah! I love a thing to do! I'm fucking dying! What's the point? I mean, we all like chips, but you wouldn't stick your head in a deep fat fryer, would you? <laughs> you know you like the chippy, do you want them wrapped or open? Fucking out of my way. <laughs> I hate going to restaurants with my wife. I hate that. I hate when your wife complains on your behalf, dumps you right fucking in it. You know, you say to your wife all secretly, like, this is cold. She goes, fucking say something. They go, no, 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 no. As soon as the waiter arrives, he says it's cold. <laughs> Guess whose dinner's gonna be flobbed in now? <laughs> Nobody's, madame. I shall heat it up for him. <laughs> I love that when you're in the air dressers, you know when they put them, when they put your head over the sink, they all say the same thing. Is it too hot? Have you noticed they only say that after the water's coming out, you're in the sink, I'm no nah, you bastard! <laughs> so you've been fucking waterboarded in there. That's what you're in for, a short back and abo grade. <laughs> well it all takes a very sinister turn when they wrap that towel around your head, doesn't it? They start leading you across the shop, you don't know where the fuck they're taking you. <laughs> you're all disorientated. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> You know, they tear that towel off your head, there's a bloke standing there with scissors going, what do you want? I don't want nothing, I swear. <laughs> I should do more sport. I've never been a sporty bloke, you know? Even when I was at school, I was like a twat in PE in cricket. They used to send me out to the edge of the field. Go on, Evans, you shit. I was always a fielder. I'd be miles from any state of play. I'd be on the edge of the field on my own going, Wah! You should see me with the javelin. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> basketball. I was always more interested in the noise your shoes made on the basketball court, you know? <laughs> I tried that cage fighting. I tell you, them budgets can be fucking vicious, can't they? <laughs> I bought one of those swing ball sets, you know, to play with the kids out in, that, out in the garden. Even though it's a kid, you're still quite competitive, aren't you? You're like, if you're winning, you're like, ah. <laughs> skill that is. <laughs> skill! <laughs> if your kid starts to win, you're like, ah. <laughs> it's because you're the fucking good bat. If you manage to swap bats and he still wins, you're like, hey, what the fuck you know you've done to this bat? 